going on YouTube? Trucking in life here. One more time, guys. Guys and girls and girls and girls. Yeah. All right. Don't look that bad. Don't look too shabby. Anyway, guys, the purpose of this video is it's hard being a trucker. Or it's hard being a person that drive a truck. In case you guys don't know, I'm a truck driver, but I don't refer to myself as a trucker. I'm a person that drive a truck. But anyway, semantics. And this industry is real hard on people who drive trucks because it's a lot of different name a couple points in this video that people don't think on the outside of trucking don't understand. And I had some people tell me, all you do is drive a truck. What's so hard about that? At a glance, I look like you just drive a truck, but even though that has its challenges too, you know, you gotta learn how to operate the equipment. But on the same token, the I would say the the stuff that you don't see affects a lot of truck drivers. And I think a truck driver is a hard, it's a hard business. For one, you know, unless you're a team driver, you want to spend a lot of time in that truck by yourself. If you don't like being in your own thoughts, you know, this may not be the thing for you because some, so a lot of truck drivers commit suicide out here. A lot of people don't even know that. They be out here stressing out or what's going on at the crib, which I'm gonna get to in one of my points. And if nobody know it, cause they out there, that's why they always on the CB, always on the phone. In case you guys don't know it, truck drivers, two modes of communication. Before the phone, cell phones came out, you had CB. You was on that CB all the time, talking crap, staying woke, popping no dose. Anyway, but I digress. Health, your health, your health get real jacked up. You get that trucker's belly. I know, trust me, everybody, a lot of people fall victim to that. I, be, I believe me, I'm still a victim, baby. I'm working it out, though. Don't judge me. Anyway, your health, like your lower back problems that, that people don't tell you about that come along with this game, or back problems, period. High blood pressure, hypertension, because uh, you're not moving as much. You're sitting for 12, 13, sometimes 14 hours a day, sitting in an L position in the seat of a cab or a vehicle. So your health takes a toll after a while if you ain't careful, sleep apnea, all type of that weight gain, all type of stuff comes from from doing this business called trucking, you know, because that's just the nature of the business. And like I say, I'm not complaining because at the end of the day, we all chose this this business for whatever reason, and we in it for whatever however long we be in it. But this is some downsides of being in this business because it's, it's hard on you, it's hard on your body, it's hard on your mental. We're in a profession where you have to keep your mind in the game. If you don't keep your mind in the game. A lot of people's lives could be at hand. You're driving a real heavy vehicle down the road, a lot of families on the road. A lot of guys that deal with trucking that's over the road, they deal with losing their family to the road. I was told that when I first got my truck, that was what happened to me, I told them they got the wrong somebody. But there's other guys that actually lost their family to the road. They be out there on that road so long that the people at home make you think like, hey man, do you even still live here? Cause you're on the road all the time, cause you're trying to take care of the bills at home. And you become what I know as a trucker ATM parent. You just send money, that's all you do. And when you got it, and that's what brings me to another point out here in a minute, the games that you can play with your money when you know you out here all this time, you come home with no money, your money's so crazy looking, the, your, your people's back at home looking like, hey, you was going all that time, this all you brought home? What you out there really doing? So if your head ain't right in the game with this, you could do a lot of damage going down to seven, eight, seven, eight percent grade, downgrade in the mountain, where it was 45,000 pounds loaded, 80,000 pounds packing a punch, baby, rolling down the hill. And you get a call from the crib that, hey, hey, the soda pop man, you know, he been treating me good lately. Uh, Make sure you don't, don't come back home when you come back to town. And you going down the mountain. Come on. You gotta keep your head in the game. Otherwise, a lot of people get hurt. You know what I'm talking about? So, a lot of people don't understand the nature of this type of, this side of the business. It's like trucking is real rough on families. It's rough on on you, even if you local, you may work 13, 14 hours a day and don't have a wife, a kid, or a husband, or husband and kids at the house. You come home, it depends on the time of day you, the time of day you work, you come home, they want to spend time with you, you, you want to pass out. So you got to get up the next day and do it all over again. And don't be like I was, I worked Monday through Friday overnight. So on the weekends, I slept most of the Saturdays. Sundays, I mean Saturday nights, I tried to like, stay woke to kind of have a normal life, kind of sleep overnight on Sunday so I could get back to work Monday night. It was just nuts, it was just crazy. But it took a major toll on my body and my mental, just from doing that alone. And let's not talk about the, the time where you out there trying to work and you got the dispatchers playing games with your money. Now, this side of a truck driver that I don't think a lot of people will understand, 
Shout out to all the good dispatchers out there who try to do your best. And in this market right here, it really counts. It really shows who can really dispatch and who can't. Because before, like, we got like plenty of freight all over the place. The driver and they, they been affected, but they not been affected as too bad as, as if it's like a, a crazy market like it is now. Where the dispatch actually have to make some sense of it. If you hear this right here, you know it's problems for you, driver. It only, it's only this far on the map. It's only that far on the map, huh? Is that right? Truckers got it rough because at the end of the day, we spent a lot of time on this road, a lot of sacrifices being made on, in this truck, and um, and we get treated like secondhand citizens. Like only time we really, we really got treated kind of okay is when that pandemic was here. When the pandemic was here, they caught with essential workers. All of they out there, they out there with the virus, they out there delivering stuff. We got left alone with all type of stuff, you know. But now that he's coming back to normal. You, you, he called you by your name during the pandemic. Hey, what's your name? Okay, Mr. So-and-so, okay, go over there, wait. Now it's back, get over there, driver. What you doing in here? Who let the drivers in here? As a truck driver, everybody got their hands in your pocket. You spend all this time sacrificing all this stuff to be on this road to kind of make at least a kind of okay living for you and your family. And you got people trying to reach in their hand, take it out your pocket. From like the company saying you didn't do a run, knowing you, knowing you did do that run, they don't want to pay you. From you getting pulled into some places that you don't want to be and you're getting uh, level one, and they put more things on for you, the more job description or more duties on the driver to do, but they want to pay you less. So it's kind of hard to like, have some type of like hope of the industry right now because you, anybody that's been driving for a while, they know they can see it going down. Like they just, they just the, the, the rate, and they think, well, it's a driver shortage. No, it's a low pay shortage. It's a, drivers get treated like crap, overload. I just want to touch on this why it's hard. It's just tough being a truck driver because at the end of the day, we our, our livelihood is in a lot of people's hands, and we get treated like crap when we actually out here in the grip. We in the field, and a lot of a lot of truck drivers don't even get the just do for driving. In, I ain't even touching on driving in crazy weather. I ain't even touching on cars cutting you off. I ain't even touching on other truck drivers cutting you off. One more thing, and I'm gonna get out of here. I don't know if it's me or is it a conspiracy, my brother. I'm back. I don't know if it's just me or these new, these lot of these other truck drivers coming out now, they being real rude. That, well, I would say like the, the common courtesy, you pull over, you, you you get over, flash your four ways, hey, they thank you, blah, blah. And some of these guys cut you off the road and just keep on riding. I had one guy hit me eat some grass. I had a couple guys made me eat some grass and they just kept riding like nothing was wrong. I'm like, dude, like, what you doing? What are we doing out here for real? It's a rough business, so if you want to get into trucking, just know you have to probably face some of the stuff on this video. There's plenty more. As always, if I'm forgetting something, guys, that's make it hard being a truck driver, please leave it in the comment below. And also, too, if you're stopping by and you haven't subscribed to the channel, what you waiting on? Came by doing a little two step, uh uh uh, and get out? Hit that button while you're in that. Uh. So that's it for this video, YouTube. So, I, right, YouTube, hope this video was helpful. Give you a little understanding of what's going on here. I'll see you guys in the video. Peace.